going on for years. And then Palestine action started smashing up the gears. And that's when the people got up off of their seats, stuck their families into town and blockaded the streets. For three days and nights, you could hear the hammer swing. Though no one knew for sure what the future might bring. They knew one thing for certain, these weapons of war must not be sent to the ports they're heading for. So this is a note to Elbit Systems, you will be shut down when the sledgehammers of justice come to town. After smashing up equipment and smashing a whole bunch, a lot of folks began developing a hunch. The cops took three full days to send anyone inside. And after 15 hours, they let the charges slide. It seems the prosecutors understood the climb. British companies aiding and abetting war crimes. The factory in Oldham had to close its gate. And the muralists in Palestine said that's smashing great. So this is a note to Elbit Systems, you will be shut down when the sledgehammers of justice come to town. All around the country, hammers being swung, showing civil disobedience is stronger than the tongue. Taking action here so the weapons go nowhere, so they don't get sent to the IOF cause we know what they'll do there. And so does the Prime Minister and the men who he supports, selling weapons to war criminals who don't wanna go to court who don't want to face the facts of what they've done. Where the bullets go when they're fired from the guns. So this is a note to Elbit Systems, you will be shut down when the sledgehammers of justice come to town. This is a note to Elbit Systems, you will be shut down when the sledgehammers of justice come to town. When the sledgehammers of justice come to town. Unadikum, Unadikum, Unadikum.